Welcome to Concert Classical Guitar in Paris. I am André and very happy to be with you because we have a piece of history to show you today. And uh, what is amazing is that the guitar is in, an, is in very great condition. It's a Manuel Contreras father from 1987. First, let's talk about Manuel Contreras just to explain uh, who he is and what he did. So he's born in 1928 and work, start to work in 1959 with Jose Ramirez uh, in Madrid. He worked for three years and that's very important because then we'll talk about the difference between Ramirez and Contreras guitar. In 1962, he opened his own workshop and he has been making guitars since that time. And what differentiates uh, Manuel Contreras from Jose Ramirez and Bernabe from the other guitar maker from the Madrid school is that Manuel Contreras is really an innovator. He did many things. He, uh, he developed a harp guitar, he developed an alta guitar, which is a smaller guitar, and uh, he developed as well a model which is called Carlevaro, the name of the famous players in the 80s, and he developed that special model, which is a double tapa. And, um, and the double tapa has been uh, made that you have a much bigger sound and she have the same characteristic of the Madrid uh, guitar school. And uh, this guitar has been so much successful that uh, the double tapa from Manuel Contreras has been played by many players and the family Romero, for instance. Um, Manuel Contreras died in 1994 and his son took over the workshop until 2014. So let's talk about the guitar. It's a Manuel Contreras double tapa and double tapa means that there is in the middle in the back here uh, another back it's a double bottom actually uh, so the back in the f uh, the, the additional back is um, aiming at, at adding some more sound some more vibration and so the bigger sound and we'll, you will see that because i will compare to uh, ramirez after that and uh, from outside it's really a, a, a piece of uh, art uh, from the uh, Madrid uh, uh, Luthier. So you have a very nice rosette here with a nice design that you can find as well on the bridge. And I don't know if you can see, but there is a filetry here, a lovely one, which is uh, reminding the one of the rosette all around the top. So the quality of the craftsmanship is, is exquisite. So it's amazing. The back and side are in uh, rosewood, I guess it's Indian rosewood, mm -hmm. with plenty of nice fillets here. Uh, the neck is in mahogany here, I guess, and uh, you have the headstock which is typical of the Contreras guitar, and uh, the fingerboard is in um, ebony. So the guitar is in very good condition, I will say brand new condition, because the former owner has decided to have the guitar repolished and the guitar has been completely repolished by one of the most gifted Luthier we are, work we are working with is Regis Sala and he's a guitar maker who is repairing and working on all the guitars since many years and what he did, he took off the polish and put a very thin polish, French polish all over the guitar and uh, you can contact him and he will tell you exactly what he did but I can guarantee that the polish is so thin that uh, uh, it, is, it is incredible uh, that someone can succeed such a thing. So the guitar is brand new, you have no mark and uh, it's a joy to see and, uh, and you will see a pleasure to listen. So let's play a little bit the guitar and uh, just to see how it sounds. which is uh, very amazing with that guitar is the loudness. This guitar has been made specially to, as a complement to the, to the one a model of Manuel Contreras to be much louder. It's the top of the range in the concert guitar. So you have a big sound and, and what is amazing are the basses. The bass are very deep, very dark and very loud.
tribal are typical of the Spanish, the Madrid school. You can, you will, you will have see. It's close to the Ramirez, but a little bit brighter. So yeah, I think you heard as well the sustain, which is long. It lasts a long time. try to uh, compare if it's possible um, this double top double tapa uh, Manuel Contreras against uh, Ramirez because many people say that these two guitars are close but I will show you that they're quite different so we we'll try first with the Jose Ramirez 1A which is from uh, 1995 so roughly the same time is among the basses you will have a very deep bass here whereas the Rosé Ramirez will be a little brighter and a little bit boxy as well when it comes to the treble the treble will be sort of very similar but with a little bit of more brightness here The Rosé Ramirez will be a little bit rounder with a shorter sustain. So as a conclusion, I will say that uh, if you're looking for a great Spanish guitar, a treasure guitar, if you love the fleta sound, the Ramirez sound and all the Spanish guitars, this is maybe one of the best guitars you can find. The double tapa are very rare. It's a real a piece of uh, beauty. Uh, the condition is amazing. The sound is fantastic and uh, it's as well a real investment thank you for watching